This is from a 1928 National Geographic. It says, hiding the movements of the fleet, and this is an airplane wing. This may be a, just a close-up of the same event, but it says laying down a smoke screen. So now we're at 1943. I'm going to show you a series of photographs. We talk about condensation at length, but no condensation trails. So there's plenty of photographs of uh, clouds. I'll just quickly go through there. You know, there's all kinds of strange clouds. I'll show you some of those. I've, it's called a banded. And uh, no condensation trails or discussion of them is my point. I'll show you this. I videotaped this out here a while back. So now we're still in 1943. So this book is more detailed. I'm not going to try and prove it to you too hard, but there's full charts. And there are no such thing as condensation trails. In fact, there's the letter C right now. Look here. Do you see the word condensation trail there? Neither do I. So here's some more text proving no condensation trails. Here's some lots of stuff to know, but nothing about contrails. Oh, now we're up to 1946, where there's still no contrails, at least in this book. Plenty of talk about it, condensation, but not about condensation trails. Got plenty of illustrations. Look familiar there? Huh? But no contrails. Here we got no condensation trails. Here's a 57 book. Mm -hmm. Got some stuff we recognize here. So now we'll move over to some time life books. There's four of them here. The jet age and fighting jets don't show any contrails. And then we get here. Now I can believe this. This is art, not a photograph. Okay. All right, believable. More art. <sighs> Royal Air Force fighter planes engaged in German aircraft in Portland Harbor, 1940. Richard Urich, E-U-R-I-C-H. And here's my problem. This is January 1945, Farnsborough, Royal Air Force. January 1945. It's the end of the war almost, and jets are new. The sky is crossed in every direction by contrails of different ages. This is the International Cloud Atlas. It's 1956. This is the complete unabridged edition. The other editions of this, which I have, 1960-something and 1987, use these same photographs. Uh, I think it's a valid question to ask why. So we've got two, four, six books there, plus four more here, plus all the other books I've bought on this subject that are on other videos. There's about at least another half a dozen. And all we can say for certain is that contrails show up somewhere around 1944. They're not in the 43 book, the 46 book, but they're in a 56 book referring to a 1945 event. Now here's just one more interesting tidbit that might be related, might not. Better Than a Thousand Suns by Robert Yonk. Page 87. He says that UFOs were being flown in February 1945 and went 1,250 miles an hour the first time out and went to 40,000 feet, 8 miles, in 3 minutes. So, he was a player in the 40s uh, in atomic energy, knew everyone he also speaks of getting fusion effects from using shape charges. Fusion effects from... All right, so now it's 1040. That's sort of west. Sort of, sort of smearing together now. Can you see a distinct line 
associated with each one of those thick bands. It's hard to describe it. There's a distinct singular line in connection with these bands. And I'm recording this every couple of minutes right now. Whatever it is, it looks interesting. Let's see if those distinct bands show up on this close-up. It's just the dirt on my lens gets worse the closer I get. Yeah, I play this back to see how accurate the uh, reproduction is, and this is pretty much what I'm seeing. It's interesting. What are these two planes doing? There should be a regular contrail visible there. Jet going down the road to the left and the right. Opposite directions. 